Hello and welcome to another ELHT um, staff CERNA EPR training video. Today we're looking at revenue cycle again and we're looking at how to check in a patient for an outpatient clinic appointment. Okay, first of all, because it's the first time I've demonstrated using this page, I just want to make you aware of how to navigate it and whatnot. So I'm on the patient tracking page, which is this tab over here on the left hand side for patient tracking. I have so this this is basically a start point for receptionist staff. So you'll have your list of patients on this page. Of course, I've redacted the patients below, just leaving our test demo patient here. Um, you'll see your list of patients for the day. You can use these two options here to verify how much you're seeing. So you could actually filter down to just see the next two hours, the next four hours. Probably recommended to see all day. So you can see as people come and go. Um, you can see here, this is where you set the date. So of course, it's automatically set to today's date, which is fine. Here you can see how I've filtered. So you can see that I've filtered by dermatology and by resource, resource sorry, again, that is the name of a person. Um, so in this case, it's the, the doctor that has the dermatology clinic for today. Um, you can change this, but different to clicking here, you actually have to select this filter icon up here. So you can see selecting that. I can change the location, I can change the resource, location group service is, is basically what, what it's trying to say there. So you can change your service, change the resource, the actual physical location this is. So we've set it to BGH Derm. If that's incorrect, you can make an amendment there. These are all refining it by state. So if you wanted just to see people who had been checked out, that's all you wanted to see. It's basically giving you filtering options. If this page was a really busy page, you could filter down. Um, and then once you've done, it's just the apply and close button at the bottom there. But I won't do that because I have found my patient at the top of the page. I have clicked on the side of my patient here. That is how I've been able to get this extended demographics here. Just in case you're wondering, I've dropped that down by clicking to the side of the patient. So to check in a patient, you go to where it says confirmed. You change that to check in. It'll load up this check in um, pop up here. Um, Firstly, just to, make to your bring to your attention here, it's pulled through the time now. So I'm doing this retrospectively on this one here. But if this was on time, this would set to what it is. It's brought through the time of what it is now. So if I'm going to be doing this retrospectively, which I am, it's a 10 a.m. appointment. So let's have the patient arriving at 9.58, for example. I want to click out there you'll see on time or early that's, that's populated in there, which is great. So now if I go down here, responsible clinician, that's already been selected. And then it's pulled up the demographics here. So in fact, what it's trying to do here is give you the opportunity. So in theory, in an example, you'll have the patient come in to check in. You're the receptionist, they've come in. And whilst you have them there, you could actually check that these details are still the same for the demographics and GP. If they're incorrect, it's giving you the option to select, yeah, they've checked in, but also I want to modify, or probably a better term would be to update this information on this screen. If that's not the case, every, all the details are the same. It's just the OK button, but we'll go OK and modify. It then brings this pop-up in, which is the modify patient demographics. I'll set them to be a Burnley General Teaching Hospital patients. And then in the example, they've updated the telephone number. So what I'll do just to save time is I'll just update the last four digits and then I'll select save. And then can you see, again, I've checked in my patient now. So it's changed from confirmed to check in there. 
So that is everything you need to do to check in a patient. Thank you for watching this training video on how to check in a patient on the RPAS system. For more videos um, on the Cerner EPR systems, including RPAS, uh, PowerChart, etc., if you head over to our ALHT IMT training uh, YouTube channel, you'll find videos, playlists, all good stuff on, on uh, the Cerner EPR that's launching for the Trust.